called Clarence can't play the piano whatsoever. Okay, so, happy Tuesday, guys. Um, so, I guess this half of the video will be about my life and such, and the next half will be about some other thing, okay? Okay, so, I just got, we just got uh, done with Thanksgiving vacation, and I actually accomplished four things. I read the entire book, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, by John Green and David, whatever his n last name is, that I don't want to even try and pronounce. You know, it's not that hard to pronounce, I just don't like trying. <laughs> I'm lazy. Alright, um, I also finished Brissinger by Christopher Pali Palini. I don't know how to pronounce that either. Hug. Um, so, yeah, that's good. And I played through the first video game I've ever actually finished. Assassin's Creed 2, and that was really fun. And, also, I moved my horse to a new stable, so that's gonna be good. Yep. Because he was being a psycho at the other stable, and they weren't feeding him enough, and it was like, blah. He's all ribby now. I'm mad. Very, very cross. Hi, Liz. Okay, uh, moving on. So today, I tried out for my chorus solo, for a chorus solo, and for the concert, and I don't think I'm going to do that great. I don't think I got it, but oh well. And tomorrow, I'm trying out for the school play, The Wizard of Oz, and I still have no idea what I'm going to sing. Isn't that great? So, yeah. And I'm doing the monologue from Doctor Who, the one with the Pandora, just because I couldn't think of anything else to do. So, yep, that is what's going on in my life right now. And I, only, I have another, like, 20 seconds to kill, so... Ah! That was a random noise. lazy to reach the button. Boop. Da. Any second now. 208. 209. I'm back. Wow. This lighting's on. My voice is weird. Alrighty then. So, now the second part of the video. And I am reading this book. If you can't see the cover, it's Looking for Alaska by John Green. And it is like prom it's probably second favorite book now because the thing is my favorite is Paper Towns by John Green because that's what introduced me to Nerds by Terrio or Nerds by Terrio which is it you guys should tell me or not I really I don't think it really matters I know how to spell it so okay so this sparked my interest in last words so I'm going to read to you 16 of my favorite last words wait ready go Alright, so, now, here we go. I'm about to, or I'm going to, die. Either expression is correct. Dominique Boer's French grammar grammarian. I don't know how to pronounce that one. <laughs> okay, they couldn't hit an elephant at this dis- General John Sedgwick, killed in battle during the Civil War. U.S., by the way. I'm bored with it all, Winston Churchill. Why do you weep? Did you think I was immortal? Louis the- uh, Fourteenth? Louis the Fourteenth? King of France. Now comes the mystery. Henry Ward Beecher. I'm about to take my last voyage, a great leap in the dark. Thomas Hobbes, who was a writer. Friends applaud. The comedy is finished. Ludwig van Beethoven. All my possessions for a moment of time. Elizabeth I. I have offended God and mankind because my work did not reach the quality it should have. Leonardo da Vinci. Don't disturb my circles! That was Archimedes. Die, my dear? Well, that's the last thing I'll do. Groucho Marx. I go to seek a great perhaps. That's actually only a possible one. It says that in the back of this book. It might have been his last words, but they don't really know. The nourishment is palatable. This, Phil, Millard Fillmore said this. I knew this before I read this book, by the way. Uh, sorry, my camera runs out of memory too quick. Because it only has, like, two minutes and something seconds. Like, eleven, somewhere around there. Okay, so back to Millard Fillmore's last words. The nourishment is palatable. See, they were trying to, like, starve his fever or something. He was really sick, and he was begging for food, though. And so the doctor gave him a teaspoon of soup, and he said, the nourishment is palatable, and then he died. Was it really? Okay, and then Henrik Ibsen, this one I learned from this book. He was a playwright. His last words were, on the contrary, 
because his nurse walked in and said something. I'm too lazy to look it up right now. I'm sorry. She said something like, um, wow, you seem to be doing better today. And he said, on the contrary. I like that one. And then George Washington, I'm not sure. Um, I've heard actually other ones, but the one I've heard the most is Tiswell. I like those ones. And then this one is has got to be one of my favorites. This is by Oscar Wilde. My wallpaper and I are fighting the duel to the death. One or the other of us has to go. That's like one of my favorites. That is just amazing. And I like so hope, like I know this is kind of morbid. I learned that word. Yes, I did. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that when I die, I'm going to have such awesome last words as these. I want them to be, like, the kind of last words that get remembered by other people just because they're interesting. Like, don't disturb my circles. I didn't explain that one, did I? Um, Archimedes, he was proving a geometric theorem in the sand or dirt or whatnot in front of him. And the guy who came to kill him, uh, I guess he was going to step on the circle or something. And he was like, don't disturb my circles. Then he died. Isn't that interesting? So, I guess I'll see you guys later. DFTBA, always eat your vegetables. Don't forget to be groovy. Bye.